Hello everyone, how are you doing today? This is AppleNaps.com with a brand new in action video and now we're going to go in depth with iTunes Radio. We gave you a brief glimpse with our overview of iOS 7 and I wanted to dive more into it, go ears on with it. So we'll start off with these featured stations right at the top. And as you can see, Best of iTunes Festival, that sounds pretty neat. So you go and you have this Paul McCartney song playing right off the top. This is one he actually performed live back in 2007. Let's skip it and go to the next one. Here again. And you can just switch through these featured stations like Music Heard at WWDC, like so. Skip again. And then with this one, when you press the star, these functions are blocked out because these are just featured stations kind of like just listen to online radio. And then, of course, there's the more personalized aspects. So say you go right here to Alternative Rock Radio. Now you have a song that this is just based on Alternative Rock Station I created. And from here, you can play more like this or never play this song again. It's completely up to you. And you can even add it to your iTunes wish list. So let's say play more like this. Now you're diving into it and then we can skip to the next song like any time and then you can see right here that you can make a station from this artist or this song and you also have full album view and of course you can buy the song with iTunes right there and then one uh, really neat aspect is that you can create songs particularly from your music so right here this is a song we have on our library so say for instance we're gonna dive into our playlist check out these songs we like imagine dragons it's time awesome song and from here there's this new option create so you tap that button and you can create a new station from this artist or a new station from this particular song so let's do we particularly like this song rather than radioactive or demons or anything like that. And so now we're creating a new station specifically based on Imagine Dragons and Stunt. Taking a little wild low. So now we have the actual station created. So you have dived right from your music playlist into iTunes Radio. And as you can see right here, my stations, so you go back into it. And then let's skip it. And this next song is based on that. And this is another song we enjoy. So play more like this and add it to iTunes wishlist. So you dive into it right there. Again. You know, I've been using this for about the past week. And songs, there's a lot of redundancy as Apple is just starting this service, like they've pretty much flipped the switch just for beta developers to access, so it's not the full thing that's going to be available in the fall. But the infrastructure is here. It's not that much more than Pandora, but the main thing is, right here, this pink button in the bottom left corner is right on top of your music plays that you already have. And that's honestly the main feature. So after you've been listening to quite a few songs, you can only skip six times. Another good song. But you do have this option for history. And look, all these songs that you've listened to in various stations split up by the days that you've listened to them, you have this full history of songs you played so you can easily go back and buy them in case you liked them. And of course, here's the wish list aspect of it too. You can clear your, play your history at any time. And also, one interesting thing, see, you lock the device like so, and then when it comes up, you have it right here, the music playback controls just like it's playing off your actual device. Dive right back into it. We're using iTunes Match, so there's no ads. I turned it off just to see how ads would pop up, and right now, it's a basic thing for check out iTunes gift cards or something like that, but those ads will play on the lock screen. Really direct advertising once Apple builds out their iAd support for their free uh, iTunes radio service. Let's see, I think that is essentially everything with iTunes radio. Again, they have this new white clean interface in the music app, pink highlights, and 
You can always create a new station. I guess we didn't show that. So they have separated by different genres already. You know, we built one from the actual playlist and stuff that we already have. But one cool thing is, say you tap on this, it's going to give you a little preview of what will be particularly played on that song or that station. Same with here. So you get like a song preview and it's the 30 second iTunes previews. As soon as that's done, as you see, it's going to go into the next one. So you can really get a little gist of what this particular means for this station. Let's try this station. This is that song from that Heineken commercial. <laughs> and now submarines, you know, they do uh, an old iPhone commercial. I forget what the title is, but yeah. And again, you have six scat skips, so let's see. One, two, three, 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 three. Jumping in, jumping in. And then right here, you can see it's blocked out. It's faded out. I can't skip anymore. And now I think that's everything in iTunes Radio. This is AppleAndApps.com with a new in-action video for you checking out iTunes Radio. Brand new feature in iOS 7. And everything we have shown you is subject to change since this is just the first beta and not an official release by Apple, which is expected in the fall. Talk to you next time.